lesson 10 homework. Number one, subtract. You may use a place value chart. Nine tenths minus three tenths. I don't really think we need a place value chart for this one. You can just, since they're both in the tenths place, nine tenths minus three tenths, that would be six tenths. Nine ones and two thousandths minus three ones. This I'm gonna use the place value chart because we're starting to get into different place values. So we have nine ones. So I'm gonna put nine ones and two thousandths. I'm gonna fill in zeros since we don't have any digits in those place values. I'm just gonna put in zeros as our placeholders and minus three ones. So minus three ones. And then I'll just put in my place values or my placeholders as zeros. So that is equal to, so I'm just gonna subtract on the place value chart. Two minus zero is two. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus zero is zero bring down my decimal point. Nine minus three is six. So we get six ones and two thousandths. Let's see, four hundreds. I'm gonna put four in the hundreds place. Four hundreds, six hundredths, and then six hundredths. Fill in my zeros minus three hundredths. All we have is so six minus three is three, zero minus zero is zero, and then bring everything else down. So we get four hundredths and three thousandths. I put those in the wrong spot. Four hundredths and three thousandths. Okay, I'm going to clear this out for the next one. 56 thousandths, so remember if it says six thousandths, the six is in the thousandths place, so we have 56 thousandths minus 23 thousandths. We can subtract, and we get six minus three is three, five minus two is three, zero, so we have how many thousandths? 33 thousandths which is equal to three hundredths and three thousandths. Three in the hundredths place, three in the thousandths place. Okay, now we're using solving using the standard algorithm. So I'm just going to get rid of the place value chart for a little bit. One and eight tenths minus nine tenths. So I'm going to set up the problem Remember, it is so important that you line up your place values. Make sure that the tenths place will be subtracted from the tenths place, and the ones place will be subtracted from the ones place, and so on and so forth. So we have eight minus nine to start. Well, eight minus nine, we can't do that because nine is larger than eight. So we're going to need to borrow from the ones place and make this 18 tenths minus nine tenths. 18 minus nine is nine, put my decimal point down, zero minus zero is zero. So we get zero and nine tenths. 41 and 84 hundredths minus zero and nine tenths. I'm gonna put a zero here as my placeholder. Four minus zero is four. Eight minus nine, again, we can't do that. So I'm going to borrow from the one make it a zero. 18 minus nine is nine. Zero minus zero is zero and four minus nothing is four. So we get 40 and 94 hundredths. 341 and 84 hundredths minus 21 and 92 hundredths. Four minus two is two. Eight minus nine, we can't, so I'm gonna borrow. 18 minus 9 is 9. Now we have 0 minus 1. Again, we can't do that, so I need to borrow from the 4, make it a 3. This becomes 10 minus 1 is 9. 3 minus 2 is 1. 3 minus nothing is 3. So we get 319 and 92 hundredths. 
Letter D, five and 182 thousandths minus zero and nine hundredths. I'll add a zero there. Two minus zero is two. Eight minus nine, can't do it. 18 minus nine is nine. Zero minus zero is zero. Decimal point, five minus zero is five. We have five and 92 hundredths. 50 and 416 thousandths minus 4 and 25 hundredths. Put a zero there. 6 minus zero is 6. 1 minus 5, can't do it. Make that a 3. 11 minus 5 is 6. 3 minus 2 is 1. Decimal point, 0 minus 4, we can't do that. Borrow, make that a 4. This becomes 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 4 minus nothing is 4, 46 and 166 thousandths. And lastly, letter F, 741 minus, now 741 does not have a decimal point, but there we can always put one at the end. So I'm going to make it 741 and 0 hundredths minus 3 and 91 hundredths. Notice how I was careful to line up the decimal points. You don't want to make the problem 741 minus 391 because it's 3 and 91 hundredths. Okay, 0 minus 1, can't do it. 0 minus 9, can't do it. So we have to go all the way over to 1 and borrow. Make that a 0. Make this a 10, but I still need to borrow for this 0 here. So I'm going to make that a 9, borrow from it. Make this a 10, so 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0, put our decimal point, 0 minus 3. Can't do that, so I'm going to borrow from the 4, make it a 3. This becomes 10 minus 3 is 7. 3 minus nothing is 3, and 7 minus nothing is 7. So we get 737 and 9 hundredths. All right, I'm going to break out the place value chart again. Okay, I've broken black out. Okay, I've broken back out the place value chart for number three. So it says we have 30 tens minus three tens and three tenths. Remember, if we have 30 tens, it's tens, so which means the last digit ends in the tens place. So we have 30 tens, 30 tens, and I'm gonna fill it in all the way to the tens place because that's where the next one ends minus three tenths, so we have three tenths, and three tenths. So let's go ahead and subtract. Zero minus three, we can't do that. I can't borrow from zero, I can't borrow from zero, so I'm gonna have to go all the way over here and borrow from the three, make it a two. Keep borrowing so that I can get back to my original number that I was trying to subtract from. So 10 minus three is seven, Bring down the decimal point. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. And 2 minus nothing is 2. So we get 269 and 7 tenths. Part B, 5 minus 16 tenths. We have 5, which is 5 holes. So we have 5 in the ones place. 5 minus 16 tenths. So remember, 16, the 6 is going to end in the tenths place. 16 tenths. I'll put a 0 there, just as my placeholder. Now, 0 minus 6, we can't subtract 0 minus 6. So I need to borrow, make this a 4. So we have 10 minus 6 is 4. Bring down the decimal point. 4 minus 1 is 3. So we get 3 and 4 tenths. Twenty-four tenths, so twenty-four tenths, which is two and four tenths, minus one and three tenths. Four minus three is one, one two minus one is one, so we get one and one tenth. Six ones and seven hundredths, so six ones and seven hundredths minus two and three tenths. 
put a zero there. Seven minus zero is seven. Zero minus three, we can't do that. I'm gonna borrow, make this a five. 10 minus three is seven. Five minus two is three. So we get three and 77 hundredths. Eight and 246 thousandths. Minus five hundredths. Put zeros in here to make it easier to look at. Six minus zero is six. Four minus five, cannot do that. So we have 14 minus five is nine. One minus zero is one. And eight minus zero is eight. So we get eight and 196 thousandths. Five ones and three tenths. So five and three tenths minus 53 hundredths. Zero minus three, we need to borrow, make that a two. 10 minus three is seven. Two minus five, we cannot do that. Four, so 12 minus five is seven. Four minus nothing is four. We get four and 77 hundredths. Miss, Mr. House wrote eight tenths minus five hundredths on the board. Maggie said the answer is three hundredths because eight minus five is three. Is she correct? Well, let's look at it on our place value chart. If we have eight tenths, so an eight in the tenths place, minus five hundredths, so a five in the hundredths place, I'll put a zero here. Are we going to get three? Well, we're not because she subtracted as if the eight and the five were both in the tenths place or the eight and the five were both in the hundredths place, but they're different place values. So we, she is incorrect. So what she needed to do was make sure that she has her place values lined up and subtract that way. So she would actually get, they're not asking for the answer, but we might as well give it eight. We can't do zero minus five, so I'm gonna borrow from the eight, make it seven. 10 minus five is five. Seven minus nothing is seven. So she would actually get 75 hundredths. So you can go ahead and explain something about how she didn't line up her place values and therefore did not get the correct answer. A clipboard costs $2.23. It costs 58 cents more than a notebook. Lisa bought two clipboards and one notebook. She paid with a $10 bill. How much change does Lisa get? Use a tape diagram to show your thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw the tape diagram. Looks like a piece of tape. She bought two clipboards. So I'm gonna do two clipboards and a notebook. And then she had some leftover money. So I'm gonna say leftover money with an L. And it wants to know how much change she gets. So this would be her change, the L. She spent a total of $10. We know that the clipboards were $2.23. We know that the notebook was 58 cents more, or the clipboard was 58 cents more than a notebook. So I am going to subtract 58 cents from a clipboard to see how much the notebook costs. So $2.23 minus 58 cents, uh, put five cents, so it should be minus 58 cents. Three minus eight, we can't do that. So I'm gonna make that a one. 13 minus eight is five. One minus five, we can't do that. Make that a one. 11 minus five is six. Bring down our decimal point and we have one left over. So a notebook cost $1.65. And so we need to figure out what is left over. So all of these together would equal $10. So I'm going to, there are different strategies for doing it. So we could take $10 and subtract what we have or we could add everything together and then subtract from $10. I think it's a little bit easier to add everything together, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So 
$2.23 plus $2.23 is $4.46 plus $1.65. 6 plus 5 is 11. 4 plus 6 plus 1 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So she spent $6.11, but that is not what the question's asking. It's asking how much change she gets. So she had $10 and she spent $6.11. We need to borrow zero minus one. We can't do it. We can't borrow from that zero. Can't borrow from that zero. So make that a nine. Make that a nine. Okay, 10 minus one is nine. Nine minus one is eight. 9 minus 6 is 3. So she would get $3.89 in change.